I started the corset. Um, I just used different pieces of fabric to sew one together just to see if it could fit. It fits pretty good up here towards the hips. It gets a little tight, so I don't know if I need to upgrade the size or not. I'm still deciding. I'm even kind of leaning away from the corset, but we'll see. The corset may still be on the table. Who knows? But I did get another idea that I wanted to try out. So I saw this thing online. And it was like a circle, lay a circle like lace. I'll put it on the screen. That looked really cool. So I think I want to try that. And so I want to test it out. It's going to be a lot of work, but I feel like it would pay off pretty well in terms of the effect and like usability. I feel like it's a special piece, but I will use it again at some point in life. Take two circles and sew them together and turn them inside out to make like a circle thingy. Be right back. I sew them together, left the gap open. So imagine this, but a lot. Several of these on a string. So it's not hard to put together. So I think I'm gonna try, test out one, like one string with maybe five circles or so and see what that looks like. And if that's the case, I think I will move forward with that idea. Okay, I tested out in theory what it would look like. I think that's good. I just need to work on making sure the circles are a little more even. And then when you have more and it's hanging, I think it'll look good. These are the fabrics I will be using to make my outfit. Yes, my plans have completely changed. It will be mostly all or all of just these two. I have the white, the black with the white and the white with the black. I think it's going to look great. So for the pants, I'm going to be copying this pair of wrap pants that I got from South Africa several years ago and I've been wanting to copy it for a while but now I am getting around to it. So it looks really really easy to copy. Like it looks like it's just two pieces of fabric, um, almost rectangles but there's a cutout like a U-shaped cutout uh, right here. So what I plan to do is simply, and there are darts at the top, but I'm not going to worry about those. I'm going to just cut to Actually, I think I will do that. I'll cut two rectangles, just rectangles that fit like that. And then I'll cut a piece out after that. And then the top where the tie is, is folded over. So I need to make sure I add like an inch at the top and a couple inches around the edges. I'm not gonna worry about seam rounds too much because it's already a little big, so I cut it a little big or you know right around the edge then that shouldn't be a problem so yeah let's see how it goes
So first thing I'm gonna do, since these pants only have one seam, I'm going to French seam these two pieces together to make the crotch area. And then I'll just hem around all the sides. All right, so the pants have been sewn together at the crotch using the print seam, sewed it wrong sides together and then flipped it out and sewed it right sides together. So this is the wrong side right now. And then I hemmed all the bottom and side. So the next step is to put the ties at the top. So the ties on this one are approximately approximately a half an inch wide so that means times four is two inches so I need a two inch strip and then the length shall be uh, 25 25 inches so four of these because these didn't need to go on each side two inches by 25 inches four of those and then I think how I'm going to do the top is I'm just going to fold it down like in a hem style. And then at the end, I'm going to close it with the, the tie inside and just top stitch it there. So just hem like this. It'll have to be a big hem because it has to accommodate the half inch tie, sew it in there, and then have the tie on the outside. Yes. And then the ends will be, I'll do um, like an angled edge, turn it inside out, and have a tie like that. Wonderful. Got the four strips here. And now I'm going to hem the top. All right, I got it hemmed. I have the little strip pinned under so when I sew it down it'll it'll be caught in there and that should be good now that my pants are done it's time to work on the top part so I'm gonna be doing a circle situation something with circles so I'm gonna be cutting out a bunch of circles out of this one so you got the white on the bottom and the black on top so I think I'm gonna try to cut two at a time and I'm going to use soap to outline my circles I guess like this and so forth and so on that and together and then each out. Yeah, let's get started. I have several pairs of circles cut out. They're looking very good. So instead of like sewing around and then turning inside out for circles, I am going to spray check the edges so I won't need as much fabric. And hopefully that works because I'm going to need a lot of circles for what I'm planning to do. So just apply some spray check to the edges and this should help the edges not fray too much. Um, especially at least for one day, I'm hoping. But um, yeah, this way the apparatus the accessory won't be super heavy it'll be like um really light because each circle is only one piece of fabric okay so yeah i'm just gonna pray check and then i think it needs to dry like a few hours before you can do anything with it so i'm gonna pray check all these circles and See the next step for the top. I plan on making the bad red 
top from George and Ginger. It seems pretty easy to put together. There's only three pieces. Uh, with three pattern pieces, I'm going to cut two of these on the fold and then cut two of this on the fold and one of this on the fold. And sew this up really quick. All right, putting this together should be very simple. You have the front and the back, which are the same. So I'm gonna put the right sides together and so, uh -oh. not quite the same. Anyway, so the sides and the shoulder. Then I'll take the take the two armbands, fold them right sides together, and so like that, as well as the neckband, and then move on to the next step. So the shirt has been sewed at the side seams and the neck and armbands have been placed together. Now I just folded the neck and armbands uh, wrong sides together in a circle pinned at the quarter points along the circumference and then I'm going to place it on the outside of the shirt, right sides to right sides um, at the seams and then kind of uh, in the middle of the armband. So when I start sewing, I can stretch it uh, along the edge and sew it together and then turn it inside out and that'll be the armband. Shirt is done. I'm going to leave the bottom raw for now until the outfit is coming together. All right, so for the top of my head, I will be making Simplicity 9560, which is not a current number. This is an old pattern, I think from the 90s. It's a hat pattern, and I want to make hat E. I think that'll just be the maximal. I'm going to go with it. And so I have similar, I'm going to use the black and white again. I think there's only three pattern pieces. This, since it's vintage, is missing a flap, so I don't know, like it's a small, medium, large, so I don't know what sizes they are. So I don't want to cut it out exactly. So I'm going to trace a small out with my tracing paper. All right, I got all my pieces cut out for the hat. It's going to be alternating colors, white and black, a white brim, and then the top is going to be um, like this. So it should be a pretty cool hat. So I got those cut out. Hat is done. The next thing I have some of my circles cut out. I can't find my loop turner, so I'm gonna have to go and buy another one, but I made a mock-up uh, little thing here. And I'm gonna measure and see how many circles I can get on this, this piece because the plan is to sew the circles. Try to get them as centered as possible on the thing. And then I'm going to create like a neck band, measure my neck circumference, create a little neck band and, and sew several strings of these on the neck band. And that should be that. All right, one more, one more update. I cannot get this loop turner thing to work. So what I'm going to do is cut small rectangles and add them as connectors between circles and that way I can make them as long as I want just adding to the bottom as necessary and hopefully 
that will work. All right, let's see how this all turns out. The only other thing I want to do if I have time is I got a free pattern online called, well, the website is called Cool Stitches and it is the scrunchy tote bag. I'll put it on the screen, but basically it's like a little tote bag, but the handles are uh, scrunched up. So it should be really cute. That will probably be the last thing I make before uh, frock tails. And that again will be the white and black. So the theme is white and black, the shirt is silver, and that's gonna be that. So I will show you the final look after frock tails.